Absolutely. I'm in a meeting at the moment, so I'll uh, I'll return your call. Let's see if you got the message. Message? What message? Pushy estate agent. <laughs> I'm selling my house. Joining the world of property speculation. Welcome to the club. You go, Ross. You are a born field agent. What have you done? There's something else I want to join. What? Your organization. Hugo, I don't think... I have something to sell. Wait, wait. Here comes the cage. Theory become reality, please. Please. You I I always get this quiet, but I had doubts about a backup system. What? I've done it. Success is with me. Yes. Hugo. This man is an MI5 officer. What is this? MI5 gave me no alternative. They sent me in here with this boy to mind me. This child! I want to join you because I am sick of what your father represented. I've paid my dues. Thirty years in prison. It's a new world. New delights. I want a decadent old age. And what use can you be to me? I can be your mole in MI5. I can walk out of this room your creature. And what about your mind? You can walk out too. Put him in a car. Drive him somewhere quiet and lose him. I'll say that he disappeared. MI5 are desperate to have me close to you. You want to be double agent? <laughs> yes. My age. <laughs> <laughs> I lived with security services in Russia that close to me. Spies are just molecules in the air I breathe. You're nothing but a cheap criminal. I am new breed of merchant which will change the world. Your father thought he could change the world. Democratic government stopped him. Democratic government? Thieves and pygmies. What they think? My billions will save their pathetic socialistic health service. I will squeeze it for profit. Strip it bare. If hospital is on valuable land, sell it. Let there be casino. Kamak, let the market work. I'll inject him. I'll destroy his mind like I did to the wretched girl at GCHQ. That's it. Send him in. Delta 6 to Mercury 1. Activate all units. What ambition. You're a disgrace of the memory of your father and of your country. And you are a speck of dust up the chimney of history. State agent. It's great. Great work. Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks, Harry.
Malcolm, will you wipe that last bit of tape? <laughs> so, how's Adam Carter? Back to his old self? I'm not so sure. Although Diane Jewell has given him a clean bill of health. Oh, good. Actually, she was rather gushing about him. Yeah. And Korsakov? Well, he arrived back in Moscow three hours ago where he was arrested at the airport, bundled into an unmarked van. Someone at the Kremlin must have seen those hotel tapes. But now the Korsakov deal has fallen through, money to save the NHS has to come from somewhere. So, they're going to put 5p on the basic rate of income tax. Oh, my God. I know, Harry. What have we done? We're selling the house. Excellent. We want to live in France. Can you help us with the French authorities? M my record. I'm sure. I'll leave you. Why the change on the house? Oh, it's for her. How's Zaffa? Fine. Yes, he did well. A good little bourgeois spy in the making. I'm pleased with him. What of our other friend? The transcripts of your discussions have been delivered to all members of the Cabinet. There is a general shock. The Minister of Health's career is looking, shall we say, sickly. <laughs> it is true that men make their own history, but not always just as they please. The dead past, past lies, lies like, like a, a nightmare, nightmare on, on the minds of the living. living. <laughs> you know, I really thought when you visited me as a young man while I was in jail that I could turn you. But you turned me in the end. Not really. You wanted Korsakov destroyed too. Yes. The minds of the living. Who said that? Karl Marx. 1956. Speech. To the 20th Congress of the Party of the Soviet Union. Yes. It was that that made me join them. Speech. Who made that speech? Khrushchev. Nurse. Who? Nurse, the antidote, it's failing. Harry, Hugo. why are you looking like that? Hugo, what is this? I the... think I can remember. Remember? Remember what it was I believed in. Hugo, what is the first line of the Communist Manifesto? A spectre is haunting Europe. A spectre of... of... of what? Look straight ahead now. Uh, four litres of O2, nurse. What is your name, sir? Can you answer me? What's your name, sir? I'm so sorry. In God's name, what kind of a world do you people live in? We need to know how she died, Adam. I can't tell you much. She died in the line of service, protecting the people she loved. Were you there? Did she say anything before she... She said, look after Wes. Uh, there'll be a memorial service at the, at the Foreign Office Chapel. It'll have to be private because of security. Yes. Yes. Good. I'm going to tell him now. <laughs> 